Okay, so some students actually forget the derivative of the cosecant. I just want to say that it happens to me too. I'll say, yeah, I can't remember, or I think I remember. So let me write this over here, and I'll go through it for you. And I can put down cosecant of x. Then I'll write down, uh, let's see, um, I want to get the derivative of it, right? So I'm going to write this as, um, uh, let's see, uh, one, um, 1 over y. Let me get my eraser out. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? A little different. Uh, uh, I'm not going to do that. I'll write down, you know, y equals the cosecant of x. And then I'm just going to write down y equals, this is the same thing as sine of x to the minus 1. A little bit easier for me to do that. So what's dy dx? It's going to be minus 1 times the sine of x to the minus 2 times the cosine of x. That doesn't look right to me. It's minus cosine of x and then sine of x, sine of x. And this looks more right to me. So uh, let's see, cosine over sine is cotangent and then cosecant. Now, granted, if you didn't need to do that, don't do that. But let's go through it then. What do you have here? Well, you can get minus the cotangent of x squared times the cosecant of x squared and then times the derivative of the inside, which is going to be 2x. I, I don't think I'd simplify this thing. I just look at the key at this point. What am I looking for? A ne certainly a negative symbol. I'm looking for a 2x. I'm looking for the cosecant of x squared and the cotangent of x squared. And I see it right there. Thank you.